Hi, welcome to this Qtile system. The topic of the video is a question on Facebook and uh, it's actually already there, but I suppose it's not uh, obvious that it is there. So that's why we're making this video and going to include it in the make your very own get started script to set up your system after clean install. So this is something I do. And this may give you ideas. It doesn't mean you have to copy paste me. It means that I provide you with my scripts and maybe you say, I can reuse those scripts. That's a good idea. How to um, clean it up, what, what to, how to be as, as efficient as possible after a clean installation. Well, basically let Linux work for you. Make scripts. So I have a script, there's no time to waste. I'll walk away from my system after running the script and then everything is, is, is good to go when I come back. So this is an explanation why and how, etc. And a lot of and a film about a film, a video about it. But um, what's maybe not mentioned in this video, that's something else. So let's get first this link. And this link will provide you with all the scripts. You download the scripts, it gives us a nice error, but doesn't matter. It says here, get started dot gz. So that's nice, you just can't um, scan the, the, the folder for viruses. Downloads, this is downloaded, extracted, deleted, get started. And this thing is what we explained in the video. This is what I do after a clean installation. Now, since the video, I've made also a bare start here. So there's a full start. This is the SSD that I'm gonna use, reuse, reuse, use for months. This one is just for testing. And if I really wanna have a bare start here, so just quick, as quick as possible, getting things started, popping in the USB, installing Calamaris, the, the whatever ISO, and then rebooting, I will use this guy, bare start here. So if you want to see what's the difference, you know the drill, use it to compare. So melt, compare the, uh, the contents and you'll see that these guys are, the bare one is the one to the, to the right. So even more hashtags, so less downloads, less installations, faster up and running. So that's the idea. Now, the question I'm responding to on Facebook is something else. What we of course need to do is, if you have a new installation on, on, on clean install, is get our GitHub uh, back on our system. Now, this is interesting for us developers and beta testers, but there may be other people who think, hey, I'll like to have that as well, that script, I mean then, because the best way to actually um, make your um, files stick with you between clean installs is actually go to arclinuxd.com, start here and then getting ready for the next phases. I am explaining you why you need a GitHub because it's easy, it has a backup system, it syncs everything, share it with others and you can communicate with others, etc, etc. It's your backup, it's your, um, well, go between the, the, the two new clean installs and everything is in there just change the scripts from now down and, and every clean install you probably gonna change the scripts so that's it's uh, up to date and it's uh, to your liking well you push it back to the github and then after a clean installation you can get them back so what this these scripts will do here is actually gonna copy paste these guys over so the script is gonna do a copy from here to here like so and the idea of the question online was i would like to have all the article Linux b stuff all the isos all the githubs in one place can is there a script to get them all and that's this one so update article Linux b gits we do just the same so clean installation and we're getting every single github that's available for the article Linux b project and the article Linux b project may be a good time to say it again the idea came from you guys. You said, okay, the Arch Linux ISO is too big. There's too much stuff on there. We don't need Vivaldi. We don't need three browsers. We don't need LibreOffice. Well, LibreOffice is out already. 
we don't need this we don't need that but we're missing this we're missing that the idea is that and that's why these three letters are here four sorry build your own iso right build your own iso you decide what goes on it and it's just a text file just one text file you change it and this is our full list of uh, packages and this is our minimal list of packages but everybody seems to be eager to download it it's not intended to download it it's intended to build it because there will be never a um, package list or an iso that's gonna be fitting 100% uh, fitting for everybody ever so the idea is that we give you the power to build it yourself and that's what we just done in the meantime so all the stuff are in here so go from here to here 26 folders that's correct 13 desktops we have at Arch Linux times two a full one a minimal one so we have 26 possibilities to build an ISO and that's the point we can't as an Arch Linux team even with all the beta testers always every month build 26 ISOs the building is no problem it's a script you run it done but it's the testing that takes a lot of amount away and lots of time and energy away from us from the beta testers and we just can't do that and the idea is nevertheless or anyway that you build it build your own ISO so now we have all the githubs and you can decide okay let's build i3 minimal maybe i3 minimal then you go to this file this is the file I'm talking about and of course keep off from the arch ISO stuff so the elements that you need and the NVIDIA drivers maybe you need to add a driver why not but um, basically it starts here software from arch repos you do want to have atom so atom is back in no I don't want it it's back out and that's how you decide just with one hashtag to to include it or not and there are some games on there you want to have it pre-installed when you build the ISO you get this this well your your ISO dot ISO then you burn it on your USB and here are the games you do want to have Steam you do want to have that one and that one and that one and that one all the games are in now you can add anything that's from the arch repos anything from the Arch Linux ISO repo from the github but nothing from the the AUR so that's a post installation script the only thing you do is make a little file saying yay minus s and then the, the the name the package of the AUR you run it you walk away you come back it's installed so that's the idea save it and then the only thing left to do is just say okay let's just build this thing and we're off so that's how easy it is he wants to know my password and off you go my friend and he's going to build it but that's not the point of the video so there you are um, we have uh, we have scripts available in this article get started so see if you like it it's this one so get started there are more things in there like how to maintain all the githubs build the full versions build all the minimal versions build all versions build a selection that's I still uh, work in progress I think that one but um, it's things we use also things to maintain stuff you so you can use it on your own um, githubs as well just extrapolate and then think okay I have to change this and that in the code in here but basically we just provide everything we work with and um, you can adapt and change elements and reuse elements we that's the point um, Linux is stand on the shoulders of others and improve the code okay so enjoy the scripts and um, I'm off <laughs>